On this episode of the NES Pursuit. Go big or go home. Yeah, no cheap guys. No cheap. Riff heads to Seattle to spend some time with the Metal Jesus. I tried honestly to think of the lamest game possible. Once back in California, the guys make way to a swap meet they have not visited in over a year. How much for the bag? A seller has what Riff craves, a plethora of boxed NES games. There you go, dude. Okay. Ricky does it again. And literally, when I flip it, it's, I see super and I'm like, no. The jealousy is real. Am I jealous? Yes, normally I say I'm not. This time, I am jealous. And should you pick up consoles you know absolutely nothing about? So it takes an actual cartridge. <laughs> What's it called? Saddle up, because it's time to meet Jesus. Watch two grown men fight over video games and beautiful retro game bargains. I am a little jealous, but I don't tell him because, you know, it'll go to his head. I started game hunting that I've always wanted to go hang out. Now I've been friends with this person for a very long time, but I finally get to go fly to Seattle and hang out with Metal Jesus. So I'm here at the Metal Jesus Room, a place I've been needing to go for far too long. Hey, what are you doing? You son of a <laughs> I've been friends with him for a while, but never been able to come down here. And when you come in this room, Well, here's the thing. So I was showing you my PC games. Honestly, I didn't even think you'd care. However, so basically he came into my room, saw all this craziness and he's like, is there anything that I can kind of take back as souvenir? You need to take something home. I was like, I'll buy something from you. I'll, I'll trade something from you. <sighs> I tried honestly to think of the lamest game possible. Thank you, God. Am I too dark? Racism? You, you paused on this one here and you said you actually played this and liked this game called Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. But he noticed that I had a physical copy of Lovers and here's the thing. That's a special version of that. So I'm going to give this to you. So he decided to go ahead and gift me something that he saw my eyes on for a while down here and that was Lovers, a physical edition. And by the way, this is no longer for, you, you can't buy this anymore because it was, these were one-offs from IndieBox, which is a company that no longer makes these. So what they would do is make physical versions of digital games. I was like, oh yeah, he needs to have this. He needs to have this game because it's such a special version of it, so. And what's really cool about this, it's got some special stuff in there. Yes. Yes, so this is for you. So we're opening this thing up together and we're kind of diving into this nostalgia lane of like, oh, remember when video games had all this different stuff? Watching him open it was like watching a kid on Christmas day. And so many of these indie boxes are like that. You open it up and you're just like, what is, what is this? Soundtrack, soundtrack, colored manual. Here is the physical, color manual Ooh. for a game that never actually got a physical version. Little figurines. There's so many goodies in here from necklaces to figurines. There you go. Oh. Isn't that cool? Oh. Isn't that cool? This, I know every game can't do it because it wouldn't always make sense, but for us to check this out together, it just blew our minds. Physical media 
is a big part of this show. Physical media is a love of my life. And not speaking of love, Lovers is a game I beyond had a good time with, with family, with loved ones in my house, and it, it was awesome to see him open that up. He was thrilled. Our jaws were dropped and we were happy. I love the figurine, I love the manuals, I love the little knickknacks. I was saying earlier today that I love knickknacks in, in video games. It's my favorite stuff, so. So, I'm glad this is gonna go to a good home. If you love the game, this is the best version of it, so enjoy. My church has been telling me that Jesus saves. Proof, they were right. Take me to church! Damn you, retro liberty! Damn you! It's loud, dude, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Spending three days at the home of Metal Jesus, I have nothing but great memories locked inside my brain. But now it's time to head home and get ready to go game hunting once again with Ricky. So it's a good morning, the sun is out already, and we're heading to a place we haven't been to in a long time. Okay, so we're back at Cyprus, and I'm just happy that we're here. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> High quality there. I am beyond excited to be here again. We have scored here before, so let's see if we can do it again. Thank, thanks for the high quality production there. Really glad how much time and effort you put into making this show a good narration. I'm gonna be looking strictly for, not strictly, but I really wanna see Sega Master System again in the wild. I'm going for Sega, full Sega Master System, but I need to find it out here, not paying like retail for it. So we're here at Cypress College and we're walking around and seeing so many different random things in this swap meet. How much for the bag? For well, the bag, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? It's cool, but it's not ten. So we walk, literally it's probably like the first couple booths we see. We walk over and I see this, as we're passing by this booth, I look over and I'm like, Ricky kind of goes, yo Riff, I see something interesting. Oh my gosh, what is this? These are awesome. So it takes an actual cartridge. What's it called? It's called Joy Joystick. <laughs> what the heck is it? It's like a, what the heck is this? It's, we find a little, like a clone console, a little, it's Chinese or Japanese. Uh, it probably plays Nintendo games, but it's like, I think it plays Nintendo. You know, I can't even tell what it is, but it's a, uh, or maybe like Famicom. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Ask him how much it is. That's such a random. How much? A fun burger? 10 bucks, bro. I'm actually interested in stuff like this when it's weird and wacky and I can kind of try to figure it at home. The guy says $10. It could be yours. I don't really want it, but Riff seems to want it, so I'm like, dude, go for it. Do you have any games for it? We really aren't sure what it is at all. It looks like it takes cartridges. It is missing the plug and the auxiliary cable, but that's okay. We can get those ourselves. It just takes a regular DC and video audio. I feel like the controllers look kind of like NES controllers, like a knockoff one, but the buttons seem to actually be really clicky. I just like the controllers, truth be told. After that, I think, okay, I'd like to get it, but I feel like I just want to go a little cheaper, so I ask him, will you go any cheaper at all? And he comes back with, can we go any lower on it? Because uh, I don't know if it works or if there's, a, there's no games. Or... Give me $8. Eight bucks? Yeah. Eight. Bucks. So for eight bucks, I can do that. We'll give you guys some sort of update in the future and let you know if it actually worked. Thanks, Ricky. I'm gonna be really happy if this thing works and I find anything on this. It'll make me happy. Dude, found it. It's actually a... Uh... What is that? Wait, classic Super Bo Su Subor game machine. 8-bit classic fan. It's 30 bucks and it plays Famicom. That's doper than I thought. So, uh, yeah, today I got to film for Riff and uh, Ricky. Yeah, they're weird people. Why do you watch them? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, how much for each one? That way I can kind of. Two dollar item, man. How much? Two dollar each. Two dollars each? Two, four, six, eight. Ask all for six, bro. 
come to a booth, a booth that we don't see often, and I'm talking about a booth that is filled with not only retro games, whoa, 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 whoa. There you go, dude. But boxed retro games. The fact that Riff found some boxed NES games is actually pretty rare. You don't get to see them as much, especially out in the wild. Right away, there are so many games I'm drawn to, like Dragon Warrior, TNC Surf Design, Bart's oh, Nightmare, right. also even Bionic oh, Commando. This is cool. I love these little controllers like this. These are cool. Hello, What's sir. Up, how much are these guys, or each, whichever? So I'm looking at these games and I want all of them. If I'm being honest, I want all of them. But as I tell people, be patient, get what you really need, get what you can get for a good deal. 55. 55 for all? Yep. So when I'm asking, one of the games I ask for is Bionic Commando, but it's- How much just for one then? 45 for that one. 35? Yep. $35, and that's way out of my range. So the two games that I kind of end up locking in that I want to ask about, know more about. This was 10? Uh, 20, 25. How about this one? 20. Would be TNC Surf Design, one of my favorites, and also Dragon Warrior. TNC Surf Design is one of my favorite games growing up. I used to play this game all the time. He said this one was 10, this one was 20. 20, yes sir. He said he wanted to do both of the games for $30, which actually isn't bad for good condition box NES games. But you know me, would you do 25 for both of them instead of 30, or if I bought both? How much? 20, well you said 30 for both, right? Would it be able to do 25? I asked him, can you go any cheaper? For both? Yeah. I'll do it, I'll do 25 for both. Thanks man, hey, I appreciate that a lot. He ended up saying he'll do both for 25 bucks. So two NES games boxed, 25 bucks is a good deal. I am a little jealous, but I don't tell him because you know, it'll go to his head. Riff out. It's free real estate. <laughs> Old school cases for Barbie. Skipper and Scooter too. So cool. Ricky wanders a little bit ahead, wanders a little bit away like he likes to do. I see some pins. You know, I was, I've was i been obsessed with pins ever since trying to get them over at E3. So I'm like, dude, there's no chance there's pins, but whatever. I saw like, there was like Sesame Street ones or whatever. I'm like, oh, I'll fish through this, whatever. But then I hear him say, Film, Isaiah, film. And I'm like, oh no. What can it be? I start fishing through, and literally, when I flip it, it's, I see super, and I'm like, no. I look over at Isaiah, Isaiah, film, film. I try to get this, but look at this. Super Mario 3 Bros. 59 cents, collect them all. Why does this keep happening to me? This is sick, I'm gonna see if there's more. I am so jealous right now. Look what I just got. It was, an int it was a Super Mario Bros. 3. I thought it was gonna be nothing. But it was a cool Super Mario Brothers 3 collectible pin from McDonald's. <coughs> How much are the pins? Two dollars each. I've been talking so much about collectibles, little knickknacks, and video games. How much I'm obsessed with them. If you even think twice, I'm taking that. <laughs> I've never seen one before, and for two bucks, I had to pick it up. I don't even understand what the odds are that you're looking at pins randomly that have nothing to do with anything. All right, you can find a Super Mario Brothers 3 pin. <laughs> yeah, I've actually never seen him so jealous of something. I'm like, I don't know why this upsets me so much. <laughs> am I jealous? Yes, normally I say I'm not. This time, I am jealous. I'm happy for you. I'm not happy for him at all. He's like, dude, I'm legit, legit really jealous. I'm like, ow. Yo, oh, Ricky, I'm happy for you. Ow. How are you? I just got the pin in my hand. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Give me the pin! underrated at the swap meet and I think more people need to hit up is booths with clothing in them. All right, so one of the things I always get at the swap meet 
is shirts. I only want it because it's legit. Or maybe it's not legit, but hey, this is a nice shirt. For five bucks? I'll probably get it. And he finds, we, we find some sweet shirts. I found an official Super Nintendo controller shirt. Most of these places have like video game shirts for like five dollars. I spent time <laughs> this, this past weekend at Metal Jesus' house. We were driving down the roads of Seattle having a good time together, and we were talking a lot about Def Leppard. Uh, this is in honor of you, Metal Jesus. Riff picked up that Def Leppard shirt. Because you know what? Who doesn't like a band with a one-handed drummer? One-armed drummer. I wouldn't listen to him. <laughs> no. Maybe look at that. We start walking, we go over, and this guy's just got like a bunch of Pokemon toys out. So I'm like, oh, dude, I like Pokemon, why not? Start going through them. And somehow he asked, like, oh, the games are over there. I'm like, what the heck is he talking about? What games? He's like, yeah, if you want video games, they're right there. Oh. We open up this thing. It's like a Game Boy Advance case or something. We open it up, and he's got a bunch of games in there. I really want the Mega Man and Bass. Mega Man one. I think be worth it. What caught my eye was this Mega Man and Bass one for the Game Boy Advance. Whether it's real or not, I don't care. I asked them the price. He said five dollars, and I was like, "Cinco? Which one? Mario's ten. The rest are five. Five dollars ain't bad for a Mega Man game." So I picked it up, and on top of that, I got a couple of Pokemon figures that are actually pretty cool. They're from by Jax, whatever. Jax. Metal Jesus Cristo. Damn you, rot your liberty! There's all these churro cards here, but there's no churro guy. This is like unacceptable. Walking and I see this pink thing on the ground. I literally, I don't know if it, I don't know if you got it on camera or not, but I literally ran to it. I'm like, Ooh. how much are the toys, Kevy? Dollar. And this guy has a cool little Kirby toy. I, I never see, I, I never see Kirby toys like the hard ones. I see the plush, but for a dollar for Kirby, yes, it's like a, it's like the eight ball. It'll say yes, no, maybe. Look at that. Pretty cool. I like this little Kirby chef that Ricky got. I think it's really cool. As I say. Little collectibles for a cheap price is must. It's like gambling for, for free. <laughs> Can I five star riff in the back? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> what a magnificent young boy. Overall, what a fantastic week in game hunting. Not only going to the swap meet with Ricky and Isaiah and finding some really cool things, but hanging out with Metal Jesus in Seattle and just having a blast. Make sure to stay tuned next week because we got more NES pursuits coming. Thanks for watching. One time, Ricky and I were walking right here and we hear someone go, hey, from the trees over there. And we're like, yeah, he's like, I like the show Retro Liberty. And we're like, what's your name? And he literally just standing by the tree and he's like, Hey, I like the show. Hey, what's your name? Hey, Riff. Yo. Here you go, my man. All you. Are you serious? Yeah. Friends don't shake hands. Thank you. <laughs> I've never seen him so happy either. I feel complete. <laughs> Father! Whoa! Blasphemy! Oh yeah, no, I don't know how to do any Fortnite. Liar! I'm, uh, you know how to do any Fortnite dance? I don't, I don't. Don't lie, you're I 14. I, I know all the music though. <laughs> Liar! Bye! Never played Fortnite again in this area. <laughs>